Hello everyone and welcome to my channel House on Pine. My name is Christy and this is my brand new channel. I do have another channel Appalachian Home Co but this new channel House on Pine is going to be all about home decorating. It's going to have some room makeovers. We're going to go shop at TJ Maxx and Home Goods and do all of the home decor things so there's even going to be a few recipes and some homemaking tips thrown in there's going to be home organization all the things that i love to do on a daily basis i wanted to make a channel and just share that with you guys so if you like this kind of content definitely stick around to my channel there's going to be tons of this content coming up very soon but thank you so much for stopping by today. We're gonna to go ahead and get into my first video. We are going to be making over my dining room table. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely stick around. But again, thank you guys for stopping by. We're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video. So here is a before picture of my dining room and dining room table. It's usually where I use my silhouette and my Cricut machine to cut all of my projects. So this table has some scratches and some areas of paint on it that really need to be removed. Just the whole entire top needs to be redone, sanded, and restained. I also want to make over these chairs. I want to repaint them. And the pads on these chairs are in super, super bad need of replacing. So I want to try to cover these with some new fabric and just replace those. It also came with this bench that is in kind of the same shape. I want to redo the top, remove all these scratches, restain this and put a finish over the top of that and also paint the legs. So here is one more final look at the table before and now we're going to go ahead and start this makeover. Okay, so I brought the table outside. I have it on this drop cloth so I don't ruin my porch. I also have all of my stains over here. I'll show you those in just a second. I'm going to sand the top of this. It does have a veneer top, but I'm going to try to sand it anyway. And then I'm going to paint the legs and the chairs white. So I'll show you the colors that I'm going to use for these. So for the top of the table, I'm just going to sand everything off. And on the picture that I had for inspiration, there was some kind of gray tones in the stain. So I'm going to be using a combination of this Verithane Briar Smoke. It's got like a really gray tint to it. And then I also have this dark walnut in the Minwax. So I, I think I'm going to do kind of a mixture to get that color that is in that photo. And then I'm going to polycrylic the top um, after I get my stain on. And then the paint color that I'm going to do for the legs of the table is this Inslex I-N-S-L-X paint. I got it at a local hardware store. It is in the color White Drifts. And White Drifts is by Benjamin Moore. So they actually color match the Benjamin Moore color to this particular paint. I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, sander out. I'm going to be using probably 60 grit at first to get the top layers off. And then I'll go down to about a 120, 180, something like that until I get it smooth. Okay, so here is my progress. I am pretty much down to the stain now. All the varnish is off of the table. You can see when you start sanding and you see these little black pieces start gumming up and rolling up. That's the varnish, so that is pretty much all gone from the top. I'm gonna switch out the sanding disc. You can see this is 60 grit. This is all the varnish that was on this one. So I'm going to switch discs to another 60 grit and keep going.
am finally done with completely sanding the entire table. I went back over this with 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth it up. It's really smooth, ready for stain. Also went into these little crevices here with a screwdriver and cleaned all of those out so they're good to go. Now I'm going to move this out of the sun before I stain so the stain doesn't dry too quickly. And we're going to go ahead and get the top finished. So here is that Briar Smoke color by Verithane. It's very opaque and gray. So I'm just going to do some test spots on the side of the table before I actually mix these. So I tested the Briar Smoke and the Men Wax side by side. But I ended up mixing a little bit of the Men Wax Dark Walnut just directly into that Briar Smoke color. And I put in probably maybe two or three tablespoons of this Men Wax into about a half a cup of the gray stain. I started on the sides just to make sure that I was going to like the color and I just used a foam brush to apply this and then immediately after I applied I wiped it off the extra with a paper towel because I didn't want it too dark and that seemed to work perfectly. breaking the table up into sections as I'm staining because I don't want too large an area to dry. It is pretty hot outside so I'm just using the lines that are in this table to kind of break up into sections and then when I go to do the larger area I'm going to do it as fast as I can and break it up into about three different sections as well. And now while that stain is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand the legs and the little edge that is around the table. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the first coat of white paint on all of the legs. I thought this part was so cute. My daughter was asking why we couldn't keep the box turtle that we found in the road and we had to let him go. So I was trying to explain to her why we could not adopt the box turtle. <laughs> So now finally, I'm just going to add two coats of this polycrylic. I'm just putting it on there with a foam brush. I did not sand in between the layers and it turned out fine, but if you wanna sand in between your layers, then that's probably not a bad idea. And I have changed clothes and took a shower 
between the last two clips and this one because I was so dusty and it was really hot and everything was just and I was a mess so that's why the clothes change but I'm just gonna finish this table up for today and then tomorrow we will come back and we will finish the bench and the chairs Here is that bench that you saw in the kitchen earlier. I went ahead and sanded the top of it. I'm sanding it now with the 220 grit to finish sand it. And then I'm going to do um, the same color scheme. I want to do the same colors on this as I did my table. So the top's going to be stained and the legs are going to be painted white. Now I'm just going to go ahead and paint the legs of this bench that same white color and I'm going to let one coat dry. I'll go back and put another coat on after I get this first coat. But next I'm going to go ahead and start working on the chairs, painting them and replacing the fabric that is on the chair cushions. I'm going to go ahead and remove the chair cushions. They just attach with about six screws, so they were super easy to remove. Then I'm going to go ahead and start painting. chairs with one coat of paint and here are the finished chairs here are the finished chairs it's kind of hard to see outside in this light but they turned out really good this is super super good paint and here's my bench I also finished my bench here is my old cushions that I'm gonna be refinishing this is gonna be the new fabric this pretty gray textured this is exactly actually a scrap piece of fabric that I found so I think this will match um, much better that gray stain Here are the chairs completely finished. These look so much better. I'm so happy with how these turned out. I'll give you a shot of the before so you can kind of see a before and after. I'm ready to get everything back in the dining room and I'm gonna go ahead and show you some before and after photos but I am completely finished with this dining room table makeover.
so that is going to be it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for stopping by my brand new channel to check out my content i'll put a link in the description for everything i used in this video to do this table makeover i'm also putting up on the screen all the month's videos that i'm planning to do and post on this channel so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect out of house on pine if you like this kind of content go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell to receive all notifications of when i upload a video again thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope to see you back again in my next video